As this is me, man, I'm actually bringing you guys some more Digimon World Day Squad. In this episode, we are going to the new area of Ives Island. But something that I forgot to mention is that between each episode, you can um, activate this thing called Talk, and you can talk to the various different members of that. And they will reference things such as the anime. In this case, Megumi is talking about Neon, and there was an episode in the. Uh, show where Yoshino um, basically it was a mission where she had to pretend to be um, this pop star's uh, girlfriend in order to find out uh, if he had uh, um, if he was dealing with any Digimon but in this case you can talk to them find out a little bit in insight about about some information you might not know also some funny little quips that you might uh, find in the game but anyway, for this next area, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, there's not, there's nothing really you, you can really need to do. Just get some healing items, and you should be okay. We've arrived. Based on our past two cases, there's a strong chance that Yuma was captured by a Mal-type Digimon. Leave it to us, Kagura. We'll rescue Yuma no matter what! Let's search the island thoroughly. Let's go! A Digimon! Has this one turned wild also? Wait, Agumon! Hey, are you Rinamon? So you're humans? Are you humans? Good. I guess my message made it through. I'm sorry. I think I overexerted myself. Minamon, where is Yuma? Yuma has become a part of the material that comprises the Mao Digimon Lilithmon. Material? He's referring to the actual life force of a Mao Digimon. The children are being absorbed. The only way to save Yuma was to defeat Lilithmon. But I couldn't do it alone. Ranamon, we'll rescue Yuma for you. Thank you. Let's take down Lilithmon! So we meet up with Renamon, who was the Digimon that was with Yuma previously, and she's terribly injured because something has uh, taken control of her. Anyway, I said I was going to talk about the story in this game, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, right now, Liverless Liv Island uh, is full of Dragon-type Digimon. Uh, you'll find a few um, Winged Digimon as well, so uh, take advantage of that. You need to defeat at least five um, Dragon type Digimon with um, with Agumon in order for it to digivolve into um, Rise Greymon. And in this part, I tried to get that digivolution, but I was not able to. But you'll see it in the next in the next episode. Um, the area itself is pretty short. It's not very long. Uh, very small as well. Very compact. I actually really like this area. I like the way it looks, and I like the, how it's structured. It's it's not not very that difficult to um, traverse. I find. Uh, so yeah. Um, in terms of what was it? Um, in terms of the story, um, basically the Digimon. Um, basically. Seven, we we know that some kids were um, kidnapped and taken to the digital world. They're being transformed into these Digimon, these Mount type Digimon, and they and they each have um, they each have these code keys known as the 
digi uh, these these code keys that represent the different um, seven deadly sins, um, which is wrath, sloth, greed, uh, envy, lust. Um, I forgot well, I forgot the other two, but they're all there, and uh, basically they all represent one of one of the things like. Before we took on, um, I believe it was, um, let me have a look, Barbamon, he represents greed, um, Belfamon represents sloth, laziness, if you wouldn't see that compared to what it is, but there's actually two forms of Belfamon, there's this one form where it takes, it's just this massive ball and it's really powerful, and there was this, and I think Creepymon is Wrath, and Bakemon isn't really, uh, one of the Digimon, but um, yeah, this area has a couple of new, couple of interesting things. First, Pandemon. Pandemon, um, you can talk to him and he can buy stuff. He also gives you a little bit of a hint about this particular puzzle right here. These cubes change color when you act when you activate them, and you have to activate them in the specific sequence in order for them in order in order for you to progress. So in this case, if you have I believe pink. Uh, you'll see here. I forget. I forget which one it is. I believe it is. Yeah. Um. Red, yellow, green. You'll be activated this transporter. This transporter takes you to a side boss that you can um come back to later on. But the biggest clue about this this um, puzzle to move on and get to the uh, boss the actual boss of this game you need to look at your status screen and you have to look at the um, Digimon the colors of the Digimon behind so you got Agumon who is yellow uh, Lalamon which is pink and Gaumon which is blue so yeah um, in this case I'm not using uh, Falcomon so it doesn't necessarily matter because yeah I, I didn't feel like using him as I said I'm going to be into training them but uh, we're coming up to the boss, so I'm going to shut up because we think we got a cutscene coming up. I feel the trouble making my eye. That's not mine. boss battle number five and this Digimon is of course Lilfmon. Lilfmon, let's see what information I got on her. Lilfmon, the mild Digimon of lust that is in the form of a woodman. It was a high angel that fell to the dark area. Lilfmon is a mega ranked Digimon. Um, its type is LSO, it is level 30, it has the attack Darkness Love and Razor Nails. Um, future in the future, it will have Evil Sight and Phantom Pain. You don't need to worry about that because the only two moves that she does is Darkness Love and Razor Nails. Darkness Love can induce the panic. Um, can induce the panic. Uh, what is it? Panic stat, which basically it it's like confusion. If it, let's take this terms in Pokemon, it's like confusion in Pokemon. Basically, they just like they don't. You can't use any of their moves. They use their moves by themselves and they go crazy sometimes they can attack your own Digimon um, in the in the process so I recommend getting rid of that as soon as possible but other than that um, same rules apply for 
this Digimon, use um, VB and Charm, one of the one of your Digimon, increase your attack power, increase your agility, and just wail on her. Um, this boss battle is notoriously long. Again, I'm trying to um, get fulfill the fulfill the requirement for Gaumon to Digivolve into Mirage Gargamon, his Mega form. So this battle goes a bit long uh, than it usually does. But uh, you should be okay if you just heal up at the right times and also um, uh, utilize some Flowmon's healing ability because uh, it saves it saves you um, a bit of money and a bit of items. Uh, I think when when some Flowmon digivolves into its next form, which is uh, I think Lilamon, it gets an even more powerful healing ability. And when it digivolves raw into Rosemon, it gets an even more powerful healing ability. So that's useful. Um, Greymon at this point should ha should have DR Drive, Attack Drive, so use those moves, Booster, look I do 2000 damage and in the future part I'm doing like so much damage, it's ridiculous, I, I love how powerful Greymon is. In terms of, you know, um, the group dynamic, um, Greymon is the powerhouse, the slow powerhouse, I won't be doing any kind of, um, won't, won't be outspeeding anything because his agility is so low. So that's why I recommend using Gargamon's ability that um, boosts this agility by 100 points, so it can be a bit more faster. And it does it does last quite a long while, but it does but it, it does disappear after a bit. But don't worry, um, you'll still be able able to outspeed a lot of things. I find uh, Greymon just wrecks a lot of things. Um, some Florimon's that are definitely there for support. Um, it's very supportive Digimon. Um, got healing abilities. It has um, abilities that can absorb it. Um, I think it has absorbed JT. So if you're hit by a JT Digimon, um, you'll you'll take no damage. Instead, you'll heal damage. So that's useful. Um, but I, you won't be running into any JT Digimon until much later in the game. So that's kind of pointless. Um, Galgamon, very fast, but can't do damage for shit. Look at this. Like, doesn't do that much damage, but yeah, I was able to finish this off relatively easy. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet, because, uh, I've got a boss battle coming up. Also, I find it fun that, I find it, uh, good that, you know, your other Digimon get experience when you battle. That's useful. Impossible! Is this what they call unconditional love? This must be what gives humans their strength! Ugh. That's... Yuma! Yuma, Yuma, wake up! Uh, Renema, I... I remember now. A scary Digimon attacked me and... and... It's okay, Yuma. Forget about it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to protect you. Are you all right, Yuma? Who are you? We're from Dax. Um, we're your brother's friends. My brother? Your brother asked us to come and save you. Huh? Are you all friends with Digimon also? Yeah, just like you. We're also friends with Digimon, right, Agumon? That's right! <laughs> Yuma, what's in your hand? Oh, this? Not so fast!
The Koki of Lust. Darn! Only a fool would get taken by you a third time. Hey! Did you just make fun of me again? You're not as dumb as I thought. Give us back the two Kochis you stole from us! If you cooperate, we won't have to resort to violence. Huh? You must have misunderstood, young man! Sir, he's... A Digivice? I should let you know, we're pretty strong in a fight. Digi's old charge! This isn't good. We're still hurt from fighting Lilithmon. This is... Lilithmon's powers are healing us! I feel so strong! What little strength I have left. Little one! Hey, we don't have time to be playing around with you. Let's get this over with. Say your prayers! Alright, so we got the battle against Kusaburo and, uh,. In the story, Kusaburo is this douchebag private investigator that keeps stealing our code keys. But in this case, we're going to kick his ass, finally. Um, I think after this point, you can now digivolve Galgamon into Mora into, no, Mech Galgamon? Mech Galgamon? I don't know how you say it. But, uh, you can, you can now, after, after he took, it's actually one of the requirements. After this story event, uh, he can now digivolve into Mech Galgamon. So that's cool. Um, What's nice is that uh, Renamon heals us for this battle. Um, this this boss battle isn't even that hard. It's relatively easy. Even though later on I do leave, I do lose. I believe Galmon, uh, Galgamon because I'm an idiot and I forgot to heal, and it does way too much damage and decides to attack me. But um, this guy is really easy. Just like same same rules apply. Just heal up. Uh, just heal up when you need to and. Uh, Use um, Greymon to do maximum damage, of course, because uh, uh, this boss battle will go really quickly if you if you if you follow that. For some reason, it it, it has a thing against uh, Gargamon, so it keeps attacking it, and uh, it ends up it ends up killing it, which is kind of unfortunate. Or well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what I think of Kusaburo as a guy. He's kind of an asshole. <laughs> I don't really like him. Um, he's got some desirable. He's got some good traits, but for the most part, he's kind of an asshole. Like, like you can tell. Even when, um, even if it's his partner, um, Beomon is kind of an idiot as well. And in this case, I didn't know if it would speed me or not, so I decided uh, to not heal. And uh, look how much damage I did. 10, I did 10, what was it, 10,000 damage, my god, instead of healing I decided to just attack, I don't know, doesn't matter, I thought, I thought I would uh, outspeed it, I think, yeah, I thought I would outspeed it, but then it just, okay, it got rid of, don't worry if one of your Digimon dies, you can revive it uh, as many times as you want, it's not like, oh, they turned into a Digi Egg, everything's ruined, nah, they, once they turn into a digi egg, uh, you can revive them. So that's very useful. So yeah, that's the end of the battle. And instead of being returned to a digi egg, it's just spinning around on its leg. What a dumbass! Oh, <laughs> 
You've met your match. Give us back the code key. I guess I have no choice. Here! <coughs> My eyes! <coughs> Kusaburo! <laughs> that wasn't good enough, Yoshino. That's why you let your boyfriends get away, too. <laughs> What do you know? Stop mocking me! Brother! Yuma! It was so scary. I was so lonely. I'm sorry, Yuma. I couldn't do anything. Kagura, what are you doing here? I lost contact, so I got worried and came looking for you guys. Brother, please! It's Renamon! Renamon! You're Digimon. We'll treat him back at the Dats facility. Really? Will Renamon be okay? The code key of lust. I'll keep it with me as evidence. I've asked Kurosaki and Shurikawa to retrieve it. We'll wait here. Kosaburo! He got away again! What took you so long? Do you have the item? Well, there was a bit of a problem. The coat key of lust is in Dad's hands. I see. But I have the coat keys of sloth and greed. It's time to pay what you promised me. After all, you are the client. I've already transferred the money into your account. The transfer is confirmed. I just sent the code key data to the designated address. You sure have gone through a lot of trouble to hide your identity from me. This marks the end of our relationship. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Since we've been paid, let's celebrate tonight. Digimon and human souls are intimately interconnected. Like the bond between the Dats members and their Digimon partners. The reason why Digimon crimes have been on the rise recently is... Because human society has become twisted. Strong human desire has lured the Digimon from the digital world. Humans like Digimon. Very lonely. Need friends. All the malice, sadness, and twisted feelings of the world have gathered in the dark area. The code keys that the three now Digimon had. Dolphamon was sloth. Barbamon was greed. Lilithmon, lust. Come to think of it, the captured children were also lazy or greedy. Yuma was sad from being lonely, longing for her parents' love. Have you heard of the Seven Sins? Sins? To put it simply, they are the seven cardinal sins of man. I see. The seven sins. Sloth, 
greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, pride. Correct. The code keys the Mao Digimon were carrying all coincide with the seven sins. And these are the negative feelings the children had. These feelings have somehow become connected with the dark area and created these Mao Digimon. shouldn't be here. We've made an exception for you to enter Dats and to treat Renamon. I authorize. Commander Samson. Brother, thank you for treating Renamon. You have a very kind brother, Yuma. I know. My brother is the kindest and smartest brother in the whole wide world. Yuma. And prior. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. Marcus, is your father missing? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm sure you'll find your father. After all, you found me. Thanks, Yuma. I'm happy. What? A huge Digimon signature has been detected in the digital world. Triangulating coordinates on the world map. A Mao Digimon! There are still two missing children left. Let's go rescue them! So that's it for today's video guys, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Digimon Data Squad where we will go to the next area known as the Digital Dungeon.